Welcome back. In this video, you'll learn a couple tricks that can be used with lists and tuples called packing and unpacking. The concept of packing is pretty straightforward. You can take existing variables and pack them into a list like this. When the things we pack into a list are integers, we can change the original integers without affecting the integers in the list. In this example, that means we can change x to 10 without affecting the zeroth thing in my list. This is also true if we are packing strings into a list. We can change x to eggplant without affecting the zeroth string in my list. This separation between the original variables and the things in the list is broken when the things we put in our list are themselves lists. Check this out. If we modify x such that its zeroth thing is 10, that affects my list. The zeroth thing in the zeroth list in my list is now 10. The reverse is also true. If we do something to the zeroth list in my list, that affects x. Basically, x and my list at zero are both references to the same list. If you change that list through one reference, that change is reflected in the other reference. All this is possible because lists are mutable. This is what makes the two lines highlighted in green legal. Going back to the strings example, we can't modify x because strings are immutable. When you have immutable things in a list, you don't have to worry about the issue of changing one reference and having that change be reflected in another reference. All you can do with immutable things is replace them. When we replace x's string with efg, x and the zeroth thing in my list no longer refer to the same thing. x is now a reference to something else entirely. We'll discuss this more in the lesson on equivalence versus identity. So packing lets you put variables into a list. Unpacking, by contrast, lets you assign to multiple variables from a list. In this case, we assign to x, y, and z all at once. X gets the zeroth thing in my list, Y gets the first thing, and Z gets the second thing. Note that the number of variables on the left side of the assignment statement has to match the number of things on the right side. If we try to unpack too many things, Python yells at us. A similar thing happens if we try to unpack too few things. We can also unpack without a list. The first line of this program can assign to X, Y, and Z all at once. Once again, the number of things on the left side must match the number of things on the right side. Okay, now for something really bizarre. We can unpack the elements of a list and pass them as arguments to a function. By putting an asterisk before my list, we effectively split it into its three elements, which then get assigned to the parameters x, y, and z. 